runs right behind it, maybe we're not still here. I give Relford some credit, a wise decision to take that knee. He could have lost this one at that moment. And Teddy, we take a look at your scorecard, and not a whole lot of surprises there. You know, Relford's a journeyman, though. He knows how to go rounds. He doesn't win a lot of the rounds sometimes, but he knows how to go the rounds. He knows how to act and fight. He knows how to behave like a fighter. He's been knocked out twice in his career. And now, I think the corner needs to know how to behave like a corner. And know when their guy can no longer win the fight. And they should stop him from taking any more unnecessary punishment. And again, in the corner, a little different here. You have a father, Kenneth Relifant, in the corner of his son. And it's very difficult for a father to really separate his emotions. I mean, that's his son in there. And a lot of people would say, well, Teddy, then why don't he stop it quicker? Well, some fathers might. They might react that way. But for the most part, fathers, it's very difficult to stop a fight with their son. And there's the father right now as I speak. It's very difficult because it's him in the ring. It's a piece of him in the ring. And he doesn't want to stop himself. So how's he going to stop his son? Yeah, plus he knows his son is a 10-year pro, has been in positions like this, and is able to fight his way out of it. Come on, kid. Rock that job. Move that head, kid. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. You better than that. Come on, kid. You better than that. Come on. Come on, block that job, kid. See, this is a case to me where the father is seeing what he wants to see. And and it's just human nature. It's not a knock on the father. It's a statement of a man who, you know, born this child. You know, who used to wipe his nose when it got runny. I mean, he's he doesn't want to see what we're seeing. And he's been stung again by a couple lefts from Areola. And that's where the damage occurs, where a father can't see what a stranger would see, what you and me would see, when it's not our flesh and blood. If you had a towel, would you be throwing it in right now? I would have thrown it in the last round, to be honest with you. You know, I know that it's subsided a little bit here, but there's still going to be a moment, like you see right now. And he took an extra 50 punches since the round before that he would not have had to take to get to the same result. Now well, the result is another victory for Chris Ariola. Has now won his last four fights and continues to impress as he moves to 32 and 2. Uppercuts did a lot of the damage throughout the course of this one. There's another one. And it was there all night long. Again, you could split the guard. You got the man standing right in front of you. He leaned forward a little bit. And that's made.